Hello and welcome back to this channel. So in today's tutorial, we're going to do one more fun animation using Adobe Fresco and that is we'll go and create some ants but with some really nice background. So let's just get started. Click on create new, go to digital and current screen size. I have a fun color palette for you guys. So go ahead and download it. You can use your own colors, no pressure. You can find the link to download it in the description box below. Once you have it, go ahead and bring it in by going into images, photos and colors. I also have a list of brushes which you can download. It also has all the recommended sizes that you can use. Just to let you know, this is just a recommended size. You can use whatever size is comfortable for you guys when it comes to brushes. Once you have it, you can actually hide it here. The colors, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and hold so that I can select that color. And once I have it, I'll just scribble on my artboard. Make sure you are in one of these brushes, okay? Let's go ahead and do that. Once you have everything ready, you can hide it hide the color palette as well and if you click here and go into recents you can see all the colors in the order that you picked my green is going to be the topmost layer of leaves whereas these things are going to be in the bottom i'm not particular about what color should go on top and bottom because we're not aiming for realism here so go ahead and experiment with whatever color schemes makes you feel happy actually so let's go ahead and get started so i'm going to go into vector brushes and uh, into basic and round you can choose the manga brushes as well if you want some pointy edges to your leaves. But I really don't care. So I'm going to start off with the color in the bottom. Either this or this. So I'm not going to use this. So I'll start off with this color which is by the way 1842 and 90. And uh, since it's a vector brush it automatically creates a new layer. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw some leaves like this. It's a rough rough sketch. I'm going to make sure that I have some which goes outside the artboard. Like that and once I feel I'm happy with how they are I'm going to go ahead and use the fill tool and fill them in now let's click on a new layer and let's select the next color you can skip this I'll use the orange that is 16 78 and 95 go back to your vector brush and go ahead and draw some more leaves like this and make sure you draw them in different different angles and your goal here is to cover as much white space as you can so that by end of it there are no white space at all okay so i'm going to draw all these leaves in different different directions as you can see and trying to fill in as much as i can you can draw some smaller ones as well doesn't matter go ahead and fill them in by using the fill tool now click on new layer and let's go to the next orange here go to your vector brush and let's do some more okay and next is the lighter yellow that i have new layer and the next one is this pink no wait a minute this yellow now i'm going to get a bit serious because these are the leaves which are actually visible so I'm going to make it nice. Let's go ahead and fill it in. Oh, I forgot it should be on a different layer. So undo using your two finger tap, click on a new layer. Click on a new layer and now let's choose the next color. This is yellow, cancel, go to your vector brush. And the final one that is this green and I'm going to make only three of them. Okay, our leaves are ready but I see that there's some blank space here. Don't worry, just go back to the bottommost layer, click on a new layer, go ahead and choose that darker color, any color that you want by the way and click on pixel or vec vector doesn't matter. Just go ahead and fill it in with any of the colors that you have so that it gets completely filled up. Now I'll go back here to the topmost layer, click on a new layer and make this as a clipping mask. Now I'm going to add some texture to the leaves. To do that, click on your pixel brushes. The ones that I've used here is I've already put it on the list. That is the ink roller. So you can go into ink and there's something called as ink roller. You can use that and I'm going to set this to about 1700. You can click and hold and you get this and you can type in 1700. Oops. 1700 and click outside and I'm going to go ahead and choose the same color that I already have that's the green and make sure you click here click and click on multiply Belmont 
and maybe I'll reduce the opacity in now itself so that I can see what's happening. And I'm not going to put a lot of pressure. I'm going to go into this layer, which is has this. I'm going to go ahead and add some here like that. So there's some texture happening. Don't put a lot of pressure. If you put pressure, all the texture goes away, okay? And next, click on the layer again. Again, clipping mask. This time, I'm going to make this into screen. You can also use lighten or something which is lighter and maybe reduce this if you want to. Or maybe let's keep it at whatever it is. And the same color, but this time I'm going to use the blotty ink and my setting is at 102, around 100-ish. You can keep it like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some lines like this. And since this is a clipping mask, the lines won't go outside this area. So you can happily, happily draw them. All right, so once you have this ready, go back to the layer which has the bottom, the layer, that is the three green leaves. Click and click on duplicate layer. Now let's go back here, click and click on overlay. There you go. And now click on transform tool. And we're gonna bring it up a little bit like this so that it's something like this. Okay, and click on done. I see that overlay is not working quite well. So I'll go back here and maybe convert this to multiply. Yeah, that looks better, but I want to reduce this a little bit so that the shadows are not that prominent. And now let's go ahead and do the exact same thing to the next yellow layer, that is this layer. Click on a plus layer, click on clipping mask. This one, we're going to make it into multiply, reduce the opacity a little bit, go to ink, grungy ink roller. You can actually find all your brushes under recents, ink roller. And you have to obviously choose the yellow that you have. That's this yellow. And then go ahead and add some texture to it. You don't have to add it to the whole thing, by the way. Okay. And that's it. And then click on plus, click on clipping mask, go here, screen. And then click and go into blotchy ink. And let's draw these. And now go back to the base layer, click and duplicate layer. Go to your settings here, click on multiply. Make sure it's the layer which is below and not the top. Oops, that's the top layer. That's not a good thing. I'm going to undo it. Go to the layer below, click and multiply and then click on transform tool and bring it down a little bit in the same direction that you did for these leaves, by the way, otherwise they won't look good, okay? And click on done. Now let's go ahead and do for the same thing for the next layer. Okay, you can continue doing this to as many layers as you want, but I really wouldn't recommend that you do it for everything. Maybe I'll just do it for one more. And it really doesn't matter that you add all the lines or the veins and everything for all the layers. Probably you can just stop at some layer and be done with it. And maybe we'll do it for a few more layers. That is this one, I guess. Can you see it? Yes. I'm just going to add some texture to it and not do a lot with it. And let's go to the next one here. Click again, multiply, choose the red color and then add some like that and maybe to the bottom most. You can actually go here and duplicate this. No, let's go to this one and duplicate. I feel like I need to add some shadow to it. So I'm going to go into the bottom one, multiply, transform tool and make a little shadow like that. Done. Maybe this, duplicate, go here, multiply and make a bit of shadow. Okay. Done. Okay, so your background is completely ready and now it's time to make the ads, which is like super, super easy by the way. So I'm going to go all the way to the top of the layer, click on a plus sign and now you can use any brush that you want. I'm going to go ahead and go into ink and Belgian comics and you see that I've set the Belgian comics at 45. doesn't matter. It's up to you. Use any number. So let's go ahead and draw ant. You can draw as big as you want. So I'm going to draw like this, 
like this maybe like that and maybe make it like this and it has a bit of a, like that and like this make like that and ants have six legs don't forget that they have six legs and once you have this you can click on transform and we're going to go ahead and reduce the size use the corners by the way and reduce the size to as tiny as you want click on done there you have your ant ready and we're going to go ahead and duplicate it duplicate layer duplicate layer again you can duplicate it how many times ever you want but i'm going to duplicate it around four times or whatever okay so the first one is going to be on top of these green leaves right so let's just select that one and click on your animation icon here and click on path and now you can choose however you want your ant to go maybe like this it's going to go like that and let's go ahead and click on align path so it'll go along the path like that but it's too fast so i'm going to go ahead and increase the frames so now it's a bit slow but i don't want only one ant right so you can add some four or something maybe you can scatter them a little bit so that they are not on a single path or a straight line going behind each other so that they're moving everywhere so this is how your ant path looks like now that's great but we want some under the green leaves as well right you can actually take the same thing but no i'm going to take the next one here which i've duplicated i'll go ahead and put it right below this green layer there are two of them so below the green layer just above the yellow one okay now again you have path and you can choose it to go below the green leaves so that it'll look nicer so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go below and maybe like this and probably like that or something like that and it goes again again align to path you can add multiples scatter and increase the frame rate i'm going to put it somewhere around 118 or 20 so that it's you know something like that you can also choose to make the ants a bit smaller so that some of them are smaller and some of them are bigger and you can do that by clicking on the transform tool so pause this and now click on some other layer and go back into your animation layer click on transform tool and when you do that you get this option saying that layer content or layer content plus motion path you're just going to click on the layer content click on transform and you'll see your ant and you can make it tinier so it's going to overlap with the ant from the previous frame because you know your ant was still there right so it's it's okay but you can still see that there is a tiny ant right here okay that looks good now click on done and now if we play all you can see that there are some very tiny ants moving around in different different directions see that this ant is stagnant because you know these two are we haven't worked with it yet now let's go back now let's take the next ant bring it below you can use your other hand here and below the yellow layer and this one you can make it bigger or smaller if you want you can just do that and make it bigger now itself so as you can see and also move it somewhere here and click on done now use your path and this is a really big ant you want it to go underneath the yellow leaves right so i'm going to go ahead and make sure it goes underneath the yellow leaves like that and maybe like this and then again align to path increase the frame rate add some multiples maybe four or five scatter them a little bit and there you go you can see some of them moving like that click on pause play all okay that looks like a lot of ants now pause them and you have one more here you can stop at this or you can go ahead and bring it all the way below that other yellow layer here or make it even below and go below this orange layer why not you know and this you can keep it at the same this one path and make sure it goes below the orange layer so wait a minute if you have some issue with the path you can click on this like this and then it goes away if you have no idea about animation in fresco go ahead and check out my tutorial on the intro to animation i think it will be really helpful for you guys by end of that video you'll create a really cool animation uh, which you would have thought is really impossible for beginners but it's actually beginner friendly so coming back to this let's go ahead and make sure you start from here i don't think i covered that part <laughs> but let's go ahead and do this and let's see it's going fine click here for the levels also you can click here to get there increase this one add some multiples cat them out and oh forgot one thing align to path and now they are fine pause I think you all your things are ready go back to any level or any layer that you want and play all 
and you can see that you have all these ants that some of them are going on some leaves some are going under mm, let me just do this like this there you go play all and you can see we have a really bad ant problem right now <laughs> so once you're ready with all these things you can go ahead and export it by clicking on share icon publish and export click on motion and click on generate frames i usually put it to automatic because the web ready is a little lower quality so click on generate frames and it actually creates a very good shareable video file which you can choose to share wherever you want so once you have this you can click on export here cancel done like that i'm going to play this and that's it that brings us to the end of this tutorial and i hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button then the notification bell and everything else if you want to support this channel you can always buy me a coffee on coffee.com or also click on super thanks just under this video if you create something don't forget to share it with me on instagram that is at think beyond color and print me some color if you're new here i have a whole bunch of animation related tutorials especially done with fresco so you can find that in the playlist called animation with fresco so go ahead and check it out as well i'll leave the links to everything that i've used here or everything that i've spoken about in the description box below so go ahead and check out the description as well okay i'll see you in the next video then bye bye